What is the most hated country in Rust? Is it Sweden? Or at least I think this is the Swedish flag. Is it Russia? Surely not. Could be France. Might be Ukraine. Hopefully it's not Denmark. Could be Germany. Hopefully it's England. Let's find out. I built multiple bases representing various different countries' flags to see which country got the most attention or even rated. All of this was recorded as a solo on Vanilla Rust. Someone came in the mail today. Nice cosmetic tree, man. Very nice. As I needed a lot of materials for this challenge, I decided the best thing to do right from the start was farm a bunch of nodes. After farming for a while, I decided to go to outposts so I could buy a tier 2 workbench and a jackhammer to speed up the progress. I thought it'd be a good idea to have a little base of operations where from I could pump out the frags I needed for all these flags. This base would also act as a plan B in case of the flags getting raided so I wouldn't have to start over every single time. With all of this out of the way, I could finally start farming for the flags. Needs to be stopped. Hello. GG. GG. The next few hours of my life basically just consisted of me farming, banking and smelting frags. Until I ran into this guy. As I now had enough frags to build the first flag, I decided on what flag it was going to be. Unfortunately I chose to build the Swedish flag first. I know, disgusting, I'm sorry, but it had to be done. Your base looks ugly. I know man, I know it's, it's the Swedish flag, it's super disgusting bro, I'm sorry. So fuck Sverige man, fuck Sverige. Yeah fuck Sverige, fy for helvete man. I don't think you could make this shit up. 
As I'm repainting the base to the Swedish flag, a Swedish person pulls up outside, and even he knows it's an ugly ass base. Nobody likes Danish people. Get the fuck out of here. Nobody likes Swedish people, man. Get the fuck out of here. Does it look good? Does the flag look good, bro? No, hold on. I'm gonna. Don't kill me. Like, you didn't make the flag. I'm an idiot, bro. If you forgot, there's a, there's a red foundation right here. Can you hit it? Which one? Boom. Perfect. Brother, uh. Full deep. Mate, this is disgusting. Yo, this looks good. Nah, this is disgusting, bro. <laughs> nah, this is so beautiful. I ho I I'm hoping it gets raided like very this. fast. The... What's your YouTube channel? Uh, Warrior Ross Dude. Nah, do you see where, like, the... There's It'll... a guy coming! There's a guy coming! Has he? 200... 290! 290! Milo! Milo! I'm, I'm going to kill you if you pick anything up, that's all I'm gonna say, man. No, 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 I'm just checking, I'm just checking, I'm just checking, I'm just checking. Was he loaded? Yeah, pretty loaded. What, what's your YouTube? Warrior Ross, dude. You're not warrior, by the way. <laughs> Keep dreaming. Really? No shit, pal. Um, actually, this might be warrior, guys. Can I get an autograph? Mush! I've just triple H shot him! You sound like Mongrel. What? What is a skibbity? Skibbity! Um, skibbity, top, 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 top. Fucking Swedish people, am I right? Anyways, as I had basically built in the same grass outpost, there was a lot of traffic in my area, and I had gotten on the radar of the weirdest people on the server. Yeah. I'm fucking weirdo, man. Bro, what's wrong with you, man? Is that all you do, you fat little fucking nerd? Bit ironic coming from the big CC, but we move. Without a doubt, no fucking cap, the lag switch hack is a fucking thing, I know it. At this rate, I kinda lost my head, because I had basically letting these people get all the way into my tier 2 so they were almost deep. I thought this was the worst, but it ended up getting way worse. Just watch. No, 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 no! Oh, they're here to raid me, fantastic. I couldn't do much to prevent this raid as I had all of my guns in the Sweden base, but without ammo, and all the ammo was in my starter base. So, I decided to cut my losses with the starter base, and just take a little break from Rust. But not too long after I got off, I checked my Rust Plus app, and I saw the shop I had set up in the Sweden base got raided, so I got back on. No way. Even though they never got TC, I still considered this to be a raid on the Swedish base, and therefore I noted down the time. If you want to figure out what base lasted the longest, and which base lasted the shortest, watch the end of the video where I will be putting up a leaderboard. It is quite interesting if I do say so myself. Anyways, I still have 6 flags left to build, and therefore I need to get back to work. But as I was getting ready to go to the snow, so I could farm enough frags for the remaining flags, a minicopter flew past my base, and I had to go investigate.
And after killing this AK guy and going on that big farming run, I decided it was time that I painted a real flag onto this base. The Danish flag. The most beautiful and the oldest flag still in use in the world. With all the metals melted, I could now make a new flag base. I decided this should be near excavator so I could go run it. But on my way over, I almost died. Fuck it out! Yeah, that looks uh, Ukrainian for sure. After finishing the Ukrainian flag base, I decided to go back to Denmark to pick up a few more frags, and then I could build yet another flag base. But upon my return, something awful had happened. I don't know what to put this next fucking flag at. Wait. Wait, where the fuck is my bed? That no, hold on. That has to be a glitch. No fucking way, bro. It's... There's no way. Well, let's test out a different flag then, I guess. You heard right. I wasn't gonna let that stop me. So I decided to build the one flag that could not fail. In a game that is ruled by Russians, if you put up a Russian flag, there is simply no way you end up getting raided. Russian. I mean, at least they didn't grief it, so I could probably... I could probably just rebrand that into a different flag, actually. I found a lot more metal, so I could finish a few more flag bases, but I got a little surprised as I headed home towards Denmark to use the auto smelter. Even though I was a bit slow to realise, I was very upset at the fact that the Danish flag had fallen. But I realised it was time to pack up my bags and move into England, and so I did. Now if there's one thing I've learned in my 14k hours on this game, is that if someone is roaming, playing a soundboard or playing music out loud, it's usually bad news, therefore I didn't overpeak this too much, and the perpetrators ended up fucking off anyways. But just in case they wanted to come back for the mini, I decided to build a little heli base.
raiding with silencers, man? And why is this kid killing me before I can see it? Not to sound too conceited, guys, but when you have as many hours as no life in me, you get a sixth sense for retards with no hands who like to cheat. And there was a lot of things that you could add together. Doesn't prove that they have cheats, but just the playstyle, raiding with silencers, being able to kill me in a raid defense. I don't want to sound too cocky, but I rarely lose raid defenses. It's kind of the only thing I'm good at. And if I lose to retards who use silencers in a rocket raid, whilst pre-aiming some retarded angles, I am going to be sus. And I was right about being sus, because these guys ended up getting banned. I was now living out of the Russia base with absolutely nothing to my name. But that didn't stop me. I just had to get back to work. I ran the road for a while and recycled so I could start fresh and make a new tier two. But upon my return to the Russia base, someone had raided it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Luckily enough for me, they didn't grief it, so I could just farm up a new TC and a new door and get straight back to work. It may have seemed as if I had pretty bad luck, but my luck turned around pretty fast after this. fucking area where there's shit going up the back of my chair oh my fucking cocks with my luck having turned around and being established again i was able to respray the russia base into a french base now being establishment i could also set up my next flag base which happened to be the germany flag you might look at this and think cc don't you think that's a little small well all i have to say is that my ex-girlfriend told me it's not about the size but it's about the motion in the ocean The Russian idiots who had been roof camping and running XCAB all white by imagine had gotten online and started raiding all the bases in the neighborhood and soon they came to my base. French fucking idiot French fucking idiot French 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 <laughs> fucking idiot French 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 Fr <laughs> He's not wrong. As I lost the last gun that I had at that raid, I couldn't really deal with the door campus, so I just decided to spawn in the heli base I made a bit earlier in the video and farm a bit more metal so I could make more flags. But soon after, I noticed something. Wait. Das ist nicht so gut. There's no way I'm restarting again, bro. So as you could tell, I was pretty demoralized and I decided that this was it. I wasn't gonna make any more flags. I think I'm gonna have arthritis by the time I turn 40 at the rate I found metal this wipe. But we'll now get into the most important part of the video. The conclusion. At seventh, we had Denmark lasting a whole 260 minutes. Sixth place, we had Sweden lasting 84. I feel like that should have been number one, but that's just my personal opinion. Then we have France, who lasted 66 minutes. Then we have England, 
who lasted 42 minutes. Then we have Russia, lasting 39 minutes. And on second place, we have Germany, who lasted a whole 21 minutes. And the most hated nation on Rust was Ukraine, coming in at 13 minutes. Which kind of makes sense if you think about how many Russians play this game. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know in the comments. It took me a long, long time to make this video. If you want to see something similar with your flag involved, please comment what flag you'd like to see. Before you go commenting America uh, and Wales, it's a logistical nightmare to make bases like that. I am no pixel art god, and that would be like a one by trillion to be able to fit those flags in. But I just wanted to say before the nerds, the scientific nerds get all angry at me telling me that this isn't a real experiment as a lot of variables change like location and time. I just want to clarify, I'm not trying to cure cancer, I'm just trying to make a funny little concept. Of course the numbers would be different if every single base was in the same area, built at the exact same time, but it's rust. You can never really have the same situation twice. So take the results I found with a grain of salt and don't take life too seriously. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a very nice day.